In this video, I'm going to give you a precise framework for how to write a well-structured and concise personal statement for your application to med school. Hi, it's Marcus. I'm a current third year medical student at the University of Cambridge, and I'm going to share with you the exact structure of my own and my peers' personal statements that helped us be accepted at universities all around the country, including the University of Cambridge. I'll be sharing tips on how to write a great personal statement, as well as on how to make your personal statement stand out in separate videos, so make sure you stay tuned for those. So pretty much all personal statements have similar structures, and a vast number of people get into their top choice university. Therefore, you don't need a super unique personal statement to get into university. It's okay to stick to the basics, that's what works. A note, before you start writing your personal statement, and before watching this video, try to write down a list of everything that you've done that you might want to include in your personal statement. Literally just write a bunch of bullet points down. Now watch the video and I'll show you where to fit in all of these great experiences as well as what to do with them. Let's get started. The first paragraph is the introduction. The introduction should be two to three sentences that are very punchy and outline exactly why you want to study the degree. In this case, medicine. It's good to use a very varied sentence structure with at least one simple short sentence. Short sentences are the best way to get your point across without any risk of rambling, so are perfect for punchy introductions. The introduction is probably the most important part of the personal statement, but it's also the hardest to write. I would therefore suggest trying to write the introduction last, after you've figured out a general theme for the rest of your personal statement and got into grips why you really want to study medicine. The main idea behind the introduction is to introduce you as a learner, and as an academic, and to introduce your motivation to study the subject. If you keep it short and simple, then you'll have a great introduction. Moving on to paragraph one, work experience. Once you've proven your motivation for the degree in the introduction, then you need to prove why you're a good fit, and that you truly understand what studying this degree and what pursuing this career is actually like. Therefore, I would suggest making a paragraph about your experience in the field. In a medicine personal statement, any sort of work experience is extremely valuable and probably necessary. This being said, the larger the number of work experiences you've had does not necessarily translate to a better personal statement. Having just one work experience in a healthcare setting, such as a hospital or a GP, and at least one experience in a volunteering setting is all that you need. And if you have more experiences than that, then it's okay to try and fit them in, but it's really not necessary. If you wish to make a more academic personal statement, then talking about any work experience in a lab or a research setting can also be valuable. However, you still need to make space for your work experience in an actual healthcare setting, as this is essential in any medicine personal statement. With this paragraph, I would try to settle on a couple of characteristics such as teamwork and communication that you have been exposed to in this work experience and reflect on either how this experience has helped you demonstrate these characteristics, or how you've then gone out and developed these characteristics in a different set of work experience. Ultimately, with this paragraph, you are trying to prove that you really understand what medicine entails and that you are apt to both study and practice medicine in the future. Paragraph two is the reading and academic paragraph. The purpose of this paragraph is to show that you are interested in the subject and that you have researched and read around, demonstrating a genuine engagement and desire to learn more about the subject. As with basically any university degree, this is what you're going to be doing for the next however many years of your life. With medicine, this would be six. This could be in the form of reading articles, journals, books, doing online courses, doing in-person courses, or doing more academic-based work experience. Take note that with this academics paragraph, less is often more. Don't write down a huge number of books just for the sake of it. Anyone can read a book, but not everyone can verbalize their key insights or how this book changed their perspective on something. Therefore, focus on reflecting on what you have read and proving that you can think critically. And you may be thinking, how the hell do I do this in a small paragraph? And this can be really quite hard to do. So what I would suggest is to write a lot and then cut down as you deem necessary and really only keep the most important parts that you believe are essential to your personal statement. Moving on to paragraph three, who are you? Chances are, if the admissions staff have gotten this far, they are already interested in what you have to say and they haven't been put off by your work experiences or your academics. Now, you need to prove that you're firstly a functioning human being and that you can lead, work with others, you have good habits and basically anything else that proves that you're a well-rounded person. With this paragraph, definitely write down a list of any personal notable achievements, whether this be music, sports, Duke of Edinburgh or chess grandmaster. Then, next to these achievements, write down anything you have learnt and any skills you have gained from these experiences. These skills, such as leadership or teamwork, can be repeated at this stage, so just splurge as much as you can about each different achievement. Then, look at the characteristics and the key words that admission staff are looking at for medicine. 
What sort of person does the university want to be studying there? I would suggest picking a few of these characteristics that you feel best suit you. If you're not a good problem solver, then don't say that you are. And finally, match these achievements to the characteristics that you have picked, and craft a paragraph that links these achievements to then how you have developed these skills. This is how you make this paragraph sound less braggy. If you just list a bunch of things that you've done and that you're really good at, then that'll just come across weird and wrong, and no one really wants to work with a person that just brags all the time. However, you still need to sell yourself and prove that you are fit to be studying this course. So if you reflect about the skills you've learned in any of these experiences, then you're set to have a really great personal statement. Finally, the last paragraph is the conclusion. The conclusion brings it all together, and it refuels the introduction in the sense that it restates your motivation to study medicine. I would suggest linking a motif that you talk about in the introduction to the conclusion, creating a sense of fluidity throughout the personal statement. For example, in my personal statement, I talked about how medicine and science were things that were ever-changing and evolving, and how I wanted to be a part of that. This being said, try not to repeat yourself, as if you repeat whatever you said in the introduction, then in your conclusion, then it's just wasted words and it won't look right. There are countless ways to approach a conclusion, but a rule of thumb is to keep it as short as you can. There is no need to have a super rambly conclusion, two sentences is plenty. Additionally, ideally you want to be tying in your conclusion to the previous paragraph. This will make your personal statement a lot less blocky. The last thing you want is a formal in-conclusion at the end, because this is a personal piece of writing, it's not an academic essay. So the overarching idea behind this structure is an introduction, three paragraphs, and the conclusion. However, these paragraphs can be mixed and matched and even cut up into smaller chunks. For example, my personal statement was four paragraphs, in which I split up the academic paragraph into two. A friend of mine's was five paragraphs, and she actually split up two of these main paragraphs. The idea is to give you a little bit of a starting point, in case you have no idea what to do with your personal statement, and hopefully motivate you to just get started on writing it. Also, this video only provides a barren skeleton for the personal statement, and really, writing a personal statement has a lot more nuance than that. You want to make it flow. Therefore, stick around for my future videos on my tips to make a really great personal statement and how to make a personal statement stand out, as I will be addressing these problems. I hope this video has helped, and if it has, make sure to subscribe to be notified on any future videos I make on the application to university. I'll see you in the next one.